Home Minister Amit Shah addresses public meeting at Hapta Kangzebung ahead of Lok Sabha elections. Give verbal assurance to bring peace in Manipur without compromising the territorial integrity of the state. People, including CSOs, take out protests against Union Home Minister Amit Shah's visit to Manipur, terming the visit as near election campaign. And students of Manipur University held hesitations against violation of UGC guidelines by Manipur University Authority. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Babina Hazarmium bringing you the top stories and latest news at this hour. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today addressed a public meeting at Hapta Kangzibung ahead of Lok Sabha elections. In his 18-minute long speech, Amit Shah did not make any new crucial announcement concerning Manipur. Amit Shah spoke about the upcoming Lok Sabha elections and maintained that the upcoming election is not a fight between Congress and BJP, but a fight between those who talk about dividing Manipur and those who keep Manipur intact. Highlighting the work of BJP government, Amit Shah said BJP government will shield the Indo-Myanmar border to stop infiltrations of illegal immigrants and the process of fencing has started. Amit Shah added centre has also decided to scrap free movement regime. While attacking Congress party, Amit Shah vouched for BJP candidate from Inner Manipur Lok Sabha constituency, Thaunau Basanta. Amit Shah said if people of Manipur elect the BJP candidate Thaunau Basanta, Centre will give importance to the elected MP. While maintaining that both warring communities will be brought on the table for talk, Union Home Minister added that Union Minister added that Narendra Modi led BJP government will make efforts to bring peace in Manipur without compromising with the territorial integrity of Manipur. Chief Minister N. Birain, Cabinet Ministers, MLAs, BJP State President A. Serda, along with BJP volunteers attended the public meeting. Earlier, Union Home Minister arrived at the Imphal International Airport at around 2.58 p.m. and headed straight to Hafta Kangzaibung to address the public meeting. After the address, Union Hall Minister Amit Shah made a brief stop at BJP Manipur headquarters at Nityaipa Chuthek before heading to airport. Congress party, Jaha Jati Ewa, Vibhajan ki baat karti. Desh ka batwara kiya. Desh ka Vibhajan kiya. Abhi bhi Congress party ke loog, is desh ko North India, South India mein baat na chate. Yaha par bhi agenda bana hai. Manipur ke Vibhajan ka. Magar mein aaj kare kar jata hoon, Manipur ko to Education Minister Renate, there is a lot of work done. You can make a sunset, we will make a lot of work done. I am going to give you a lot of work. Congress has always been done to give a gang to a gang. Professor Saab has been fought for a long time. वो भी टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग के मेंबर है याद करना मणिपुर को एक नहीं दे सकेंगे भाई और बहनों भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने मणिपुर में करप्शन को समाप्त अभी अभी पिछले दिनों में मणिपुर में नस्ली हिंसा हुई है मैं मणिपुर के पहाड़ और घाटी दोनों को कहना चाहता हूँ आने वाले समय में नरेंद्र मोदी जी की प्रायोरिटी मणिपुर को एक रखते हुए सबसे बातचीत करते हुए शांति स्थापित करने की है 
On the other hand, Mera Pai B members of Kurai Block Road at Kurai Lamlong Bazaar to stop vehicles carrying people who are heading to attend election rally of Union Home Minister Amit Shah at Habta Kangzebong. Women were expressing their anger against government's failure to address the ongoing violent crisis in Manipur, which broke out in May last year. One of the protesters said it is not acceptable for BJP government to engage in election rally before bringing a solution to the violent crisis. Speaking in this regard, a person named Kaisam Urmila said the protest was not carried out against elections and not against any candidates. People would have given warm welcome to Amit Shah if he had come to Manipur to resolve Manipur issue, but he was here to campaign for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. And it is unfortunate for some people to welcome Union Home Minister by sidelining the prevailing crisis in the state. People also burned tires in the middle of the road that connects Hatta with New Chekon. ลานสิกิมารังดิตะมังตาอคุยมานิปูชิตะมวยลักพีบ่โอยฮะบ่อะดูนัดเตมวยดิบอร์ดคอมโบเอนะละเอมะมะสิกิอคุยเตเปียน
Even as Union Home Minister Amit Shah was here in Manipur to address a public meeting in connections with upcoming Lok Sabha elections, exchange of fire was reported at Ising Tingbi area hill range in Thobal district's Hairok today. The firing broke out last night when armed cookies targeted Hairok area and when Maite village volunteers retaliated to the firing. The exchange of firing continued between armed cookies and Maite village volunteers till the filing of this report. However, there are no reports of any casualties on both sides. Coordinating Committee for Crisis Resolutions Manipur today called on people of Manipur, especially women folks, to choose the right candidate, a candidate who would work in the interest of the people. The committee also urged voters to keep in mind that the ongoing violence has continued for almost a year now as if there is no government to look after it. Speaking to media persons at Irawad Vawan in BT Road, convener of Coordinating Committee for Crisis Resolutions Manipur, Oinam Sumati, alleged that the government under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Chief Minister along with his cabinet has failed to bring a solutions to the 11-month-long violent crisis. Amid the uncertainties prevailing in the state, the committee has also written to Election Commission of India to not conduct the elections in Manipur. However, the election dates have been fixed for the Lok Sabha elections. While expressing her apprehension over the chances of holding these elections in free and fair manner, Oinam Sumati urged voters in the state to choose their candidate wisely and to vote in the interest of Manipur. Manipur Sarkar Sina, Hogjik Tatara Ibasi, Tongan Tongan Ba, Adon Ba Makum Upa, Ors Maya Mamasu Sinare, Emily Singi, Mayumda, Aduga, Honorable Sim Minister Gi, Bangloda, Nupi, Maya Maya Mama Kaurakanda, Tongan Tongan Ba Makalgi, Gyan Taminabani Haina Pongdok Balaire, High River Singer Se, Miamda, Akogi Utsaiba, Miambu Gyan, Mamanaba Honaba, Adugum Bamani, Preza Miam Se, Koi Pangara Gumsi, Hogjik Sida Akuna, Amohana Pangadana, Hanegi Langax Hason Se, Makatana Satara Gadi, or hek loira padagi ai koi laibak sida imu nai mugi saktam mamla kani laibak se machet ahum thongna soidana thugai rakani miyam bu sahi supa awana tahalak bhai ba se sasona ma laibagi mathong natte Naga People's Front NPF candidate Kajui Timothy Jimik today gave assurance to work in the interest of Manipur of people of Manipur if he gets elected in the Lok Sabha election as MP for Outer Manipur Parliamentary Constituency. Timothy Jimik was speaking during a program that was organized by Chingtam Women Development Associations to formally endorse NPF candidate Kachui Timothy Jimik. Speaking in the program, which was held at Hotel Classic Grandi Chingmai Rong, Timothy Jimik expressed gratitude to Chingtam Women Development Associations for supporting him. He said the ongoing violence has affected all communities in Manipur. While maintaining that peaceful and conducive environment is required for development to happen in the state, Timothy gave assurance to make every possible effort to restore normalcy in the state. Mutual understanding, emotional anger, labor matam sida, decision laudana, adubo equigi, nungaitaba, anger, labor si, cool down, krale, krale halaga, equishi, unna, dialogue dominaraga, equishi, peace proche, aduga manipushi, so cutting eye, hibushi, shiki tapata, a patana, a egg, angambudu, not hoga, a doge, and a jet crabby. 
Associate Editor of Impact News, Joyce Usam, left Imphal today to participate in the 2024 Indo-Pacific Journalist Study Tour and Dialogue in Taiwan entitled Enhancing Regional Connections. The three-day study tour and dialogue to be held from April 17 to April 19, 2024 is being organized by East West Center along with Government of Taiwan. The East West Center was established by the United States Congress in 1960 as a national educational institution to foster better relations and understanding among the peoples of the United States, Asia and the Pacific Islands through programs of cooperative study, training and research. A total of 18 journalists from the Republic of Korea, New Zealand, Japan, India and Taiwan are participating in the study tour. From India, five journalists from various media firms including the Hindu, the Indian Express and Joy Sri Usam from Impact News were selected for the tour. During the tour, the journalists will be introduced to Taiwan, exploring the vital role the island plays in advanced technology productions, recent political trends, Taiwan's place within President Biden's Indo-Pacific strategy, defense and foreign relations, economics and technology, etc. They will also have briefing with Dr. Joseph Wu, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Taiwan and other ministers. It may be mentioned that Taiwan and India signed an agreement in February this year to bring in Indian migrant workers to the island as labor strand Taipei seeks to expand its foreign workforce beyond its traditional source countries of Southeast Asia. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on students' protests in Manipur University against violation of UGC guidelines. So keep watching Impact News. NABH Panglaba AOI Babina Speciality Hospital Asida Medical Surgical Radiation Oncology Nuclear Medicine Lying Bagi Kudong Chaba Pizari. State Asida Ahan Ba Oina Thyroid Cancer Gi Iodine Therapy Hau Baga Loinana Cancer Khangdok Naba Pet CT Scan Lairaba Hospital Ni. CMHT PMJY Card Pai Ba Amasung Government Employee Singi Su Lying Bada Kudong Chaba Pizari. Dr. Singna Tumor Board Pamduna Anaba Singi Lying Da Chao Nama Ting Pangli. Akupamaro Gidamak AOI Babina Speciality Hospital, Sajiva Jail Road, Kabeisoi, Infal East, Tanabiu. Imungo Madasang Mopalam Singh, Penal Store of Fung Dublaitre. Grocery items, cosmetic items, Sena San of Firo. Electronic items, home appliances, Luna Lunana, furniture items. Isagi Apamba Polam Singh, Labour, the Dugan, Amada Mukjat, Amada Mukjan, the Wim Matokad. Hoksik, where you live, you send it on Gifam Yanjaraga, Pena Story, Yonjari, Polam Kotimaki, or Pijari. Sagolban, Babudong, Mantri, Lake, Impal West, Sabadi, Salam, Awang, Lake, Sangai Tel Rock, Impal West, the length of Piratuna, Polam Kotimak Labagi, Nungaiba Mahal, Lobiho. Welcome back after the break you're watching Primetime English Bulletin. Students of Manipur University today took out protests alleging violation of UGC guidelines by Manipur University Authority. Speaking in this regard, a student of Department of Adult Education, Lysram Krishnadas, accused the university of mismanagement. He alleged that the university has failed to carry out recruitment process for teaching and non-teaching staffs and as a result, teachers who have passed the retirement age are still continuing to teach in the university. He also maintained that the authority has not only failed to disburse reimbursement fees but also failed to provide mass to students despite charging mass fees. Lystrom Krishnadas also demanded a resolution in the matter concerning selections of PhD students and also regarding appointment of faculty for Manipuri 
department. He also demanded timely disbursement of fellowship for non-NET PhD students. He further demanded the progress on CBI investigation regarding alleged scam and recruitment of Home Guard security for the university. Manipur University, the Amna Tawa, Toki bus game, Mama Haragadi, Akoi security, Matang, the Kanbi Matang, the CBI, the game Mata Pankoki, we urge CBI for speedy trial of scam of homes guard security recruitment in Manipur University. Akoi Hong Kong Kanbi Matang, the scam Yamna Tawa, Matopolai, Madui Matang, the Zokoina CBI, the Taxinjari, Amazon Heisenjari, Madudi, Tibiana, Tumba, Wayan Purakuduna scam, Mama Yamna Tawa, Toki, the same Manipur University, the Hong Kong Matang, the Asi, Tubu Matanda, Clearma, Pitopio, and Akoi demand of Zari Luna Luna, Akoi Yasi, the Panzeri was sitting. Protese, Akoina, Academy and Mosperia, the Kayako de Gi, Asigi Matang, the Pamzabini. Unidentified gunmen fired few rounds of bullets at the residence of one RK Johnson at Imphal West Districts, Sagolban Lairin Jam Lairak Kieli Makong. The incident reportedly took place at around 8.30 p.m. yesterday. Condemning the attack, Brownie Club Sagolban Lairin Jam Lairak Kieli Makong Mayrapai Bilop took out protests condemning the incident of gun attack at residential areas. Speaking in this regard, Secretary of Brownie Club, RK Purnima said the people of the locality strongly condemned the incident of the incident of attack at the residence of RK Johnson, who is the convener of Sagolban Apunbalu. She urged people to not engage in such terrorizing acts in future. <laughs> Masi I koi yam penza de yam no eyes a day, I do not masi matung that of vegan or haina, I koi like I as the development committee, Amadi Club, Amadi, my rap I be singing, my gay the gi mediagi tonga, hai Rastriya Janasakti Party as Manipur Pradesh has announced its endorsement for Congress candidates in both inner and outer Manipur parliamentary constituencies. Speaking to media persons in this regard, State President of RJPS, Akoizam MS, said his party has not fielded any candidates for Lok Sabha elections in Manipur, instead decided to support Congress candidates Dr. Angom Chabimol Akoizam and Alfred Kangam Arthur. We, the Rastriya Janasakti Party Secular Manipur State, has decided not to put up any of our candidates in this Lok Sabha election 2024 and instead unanimously resolved to support proactively to the Indian National Congress Inner Manipur candidate Oja Angomcha Bimol Akwajam, son of Led Akwajam Virendra Singh and Oja Alfred Kangam Athar of Outer Manipur Lok Sabha election. Absentee voters in Jiribam district today cast their votes through postal ballot papers. Senior citizens who are 85 years and above along with differently abled persons were availed the facility of voting at their respective homes. According to District Election Officer and DC of Jiribam district, Krishna Kumar, there are 65 absentee voters in Jiribam district which comes under outer Manipur ST parliamentary constituency, out of which 51 are senior citizen voters and 14 of them are differently able persons. Sagolban Apunbalup Salup also condemned the gun attack at the residence of its convener Raskumar Johnson at Sagolban Thangapad Mapan Kili Makong by unidentified miscreants yesterday. Salup urged relevant authority to not engage in such terrorizing act at residential areas and appealed government to pay attention to the deteriorating law and order situations in Manipur. A book titled Journalism for Journalists and All was released today during a program held at Manipur Press Club today. The book is written by National Convener of NMC New Delhi, Mangi Sana, and it carries the message, Journalism is the breach between hills and plain for peace. Former Education Director, Retired Professor Dr. and Kirti, Manipur University Professor Dr. Chinglian Maisnam, DM University Professor Dr. Sarachandra Longjombam, Former chairperson of Manipur State Social Welfare, R.K. Nayan Sana, were among the eminent persons who attended the program. Now the sports news. 
In the ongoing 8 MNCAW Pralada and W Ramanda Elite Cricket Tournament, ESU Wangkai Model Club Chingamaka and PTRC Pat Soi Part 4 won their respective matches. In the 55th league match, which was played at Model Higher Secondary School in Oriental College Ground, ESU Wangkai set a target of 134 runs as they were bowled out in 43.5 overs. In reply, Reyes Kwai Nagamapal could not chase down the target as they were all out for 100 115 runs in 43 overs, thus losing the match by 19 runs. ESU all-rounder Heitz Donba, who picked up four wickets, was adjudged the man of the match. In 56 league match that was played at Lyrenjam Cricket Ground, Model Club Chingamaka defend AI Amin Lilong by four wickets. Model Club Chingamaka batsman Ronald Ningombam, who scored 56 runs, was declared the man of the match. In 57th league match, which was played at Luang Pokpa Cricket Ground, PTRC Patsoi Part 4 defeated Trao Kwakai Thil by 51 runs. PTRC Patsoi Part 4 all-rounder Rex Raskumar, who scored 94 runs and picked up three wickets, was adjudged the man of the match. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Union Home Minister Amit Shah addresses public meeting at Hapta Kangzebum ahead of Lok Sabha elections, gave verbal assurance to bring peace in Manipur without compromising the territorial integrity of the state. People, including CSOs, take out protests against Union Home Minister Amit Shah's visit to Manipur, terming the visit as mere election campaign. And students of Manipur University held hesitation against violation of UGC guidelines by Manipur University Authority. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Come up next prime time Manipur bulletin. So have a great evening and stay safe. Awaba Sangguk Java Delta Advanced School Kwa Kathil Da Tamlambi Kumari Nongai Thiem Karima Devi